Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for being here. I want to let you go. You guys know we're talking live across America. I'm based in Dallas, Texas. That's my core audience. But I get to speak to people all across America. And this topic is so so important, Megan and Parker. I wanted them to know what you guys have to say because I saw the statistic that says nearly one in five high school students use e-cigarettes. I am appalled. I really am. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of backlash, but hey, that's why I do the Bounder BB Show. Megan, I would love to start with you for you to tell us about what your role is in this and tell us about the vaping epidemic, uh, epidemic with young people. Well, we are very concerned here at Truth Initiative. There are millions of teens and young adults who are vaping right now. Many of them are experiencing uh, quite devastating consequences from it, both to their physical health as well as to their mental health. Uh, So we know that vaping nicotine can amplify feelings of stress, anxiety, and even depression. And so we want to provide resources uh, for young people to help prevent them from starting to vape in the first place or help them quit if they've already started. So we developed a text message program called This Is Quitting. It is a very easy to use, free, confidential program. You just text Ditch Vape to 88709 to sign up. And once you sign up, you start getting a one a day text message that is tailored to how old you are, what type of e-cigarette you use and where you are in the quitting process. Uh, So we bring tips, motivation, inspiration, Many of the messages are written by other young people who have gone through this program, who understand what it's like to quit. Uh, And we want to just underscore that you're not the only one doing this. You're not alone. There are millions of other young people out there who are interested in quitting, who are trying to quit. And uh, we've helped nearly half a million of them on their quitting journey through This Is Quitting specifically. Before I uh, switch to Parker, talk a little bit about the Truth Initiative itself. I think people need to hear that. Sure. Truth Initiative is the largest nonprofit in America dedicated specifically to creating a culture that is free from tobacco, vaping, and all nicotine products. Uh, We have been fighting this fight uh, since 1994. Uh, We have lots of different resources available, including our multimedia truth campaign that educates young people about the truth about tobacco and uh, nicotine products and what they can do to you, as well as a lot of different resources to help people quit. We have, of course, this is quitting for teens and young adults, as I mentioned, who are quitting vaping. Uh, We also have quitting resources for adult tobacco users who are quitting any kind of tobacco, whether that's smoking, vaping, dipping, or chewing tobacco through uh, a website called becomeanx.org that we developed in collaboration with Mayo Clinic. And uh, we have resources on that site for parents as well uh, who want to support their child or a teen or young adult in their life uh, who may be vaping and and wanting to quit. Thank you so much for that good uh, explanation. If I can ask you, Parker, you're a college student and you recently quit e-cigarettes. Could you tell us a little bit about your story? Yeah. Uh, I started vaping when I was 14, back in my freshman year of high school. I saw a lot of my friends were doing it. I didn't really understand the negative implications of what vaping would have on my mental and physical health. It was it was a very difficult journey for me to try to quit. I tried multiple times, but I didn't really find myself a support system. My friends wouldn't help me because they still wanted to do it. They wouldn't quit with me. I didn't tell my parents because I felt you know embarrassed or ashamed. Eventually, I did see Truth's ad online. And through that, I was able to join the This Is Quitting program. And I found myself a a solid and steady way to quit. You know, it's on your phone. They send you daily text messages with inspiration and tips and tricks. And I found it very, very helpful to me that I had someone who was constantly reminding me and keeping myself accountable that, hey, I'm trying to do this. These are the steps I need to take to be active about it. Eventually, I was able to quit and I'm still vape and nicotine free now. 
When you say you were, want, tried to quit, you wanted to quit, tell me what's on the inside of you that gives you that feeling, I don't want to do this. Tell, tell me about that. What, does your brain talk to you? Does your heart talk to you? What? It's a bit of both. I mean, my brain, you know, it's sending out signals that something is wrong. I mean, spikes of anxiety and depression are telltale signs that something is wrong. It took me a while to equate it to vaping nicotine, but eventually, you know, I made that correlation. Um, my heart, I just, I knew it was wrong for me, but you know, with its addictive qualities, nicotine is hard to quit. But I really wanted to strive to improve my mental and physical health. I didn't want to feel so bad all the time. I didn't want to feel tired and with the inability to focus or do anything really without hitting my vape or constantly wanting it. I just wanted to be, you know, free of that feeling. And eventually I was able to do that through truth. So I'm very grateful for that. And I got to ask you this. I'm, I'm a non-smoker, so I, it's really uh, coming from my heart. So when you are addicted to this, this vaping, do you always want to think about it? Do you always want to pick it up? Do you always want to do it when you, when you were addicted? I felt like if I didn't have it with me that something was wrong. I felt like it was like an anchor to like tie me down from anxiety, which turned out not to be the case. But you know, in my mind, that's how I thought. It, it was it, it was very difficult for me to do anything without it. It you know, I always had one. I'd spend lots of money to buy multiple each week just so I could keep it going. And I it wasn't even like I was getting anything out of it at that point when it was at its peak. I just had it because I'd been so used to it in my daily life that it became a routine for me. And I realized that that was you know, a huge issue. Parker, thank you so very much for sharing so intimately with my audience. I really want to get this point across to them. Megan, uh, as I wrap up, is Parker's story normal or unique? And where do we find out more information to get help for those people who are listening and they might think they, they want to be on the side where Parker is not vaping anymore? Sure. Well, everyone's story is unique. Everyone has their own life circumstance uh, and, and their own emotions, but also uh, Parker's story is very familiar. And we hear from lots of other young people that they felt this way, that that they want to uh, be free from addiction, that they don't want to spend the kind of money that they're spending on vaping, and that they want to take their health and their life back. Uh, they want to take control of their own life. And so uh, for any young person who is interested in quitting or even just thinking about it, you don't have to be ready to quit yet to sign up for This Is Quitting. We have resources and messages for you. You can text Ditch Vape to 88709. And if you want to just learn more about Truth Initiative and all the work that we're doing uh, in this space, you can visit us online at truthinitiative.org. Megan, I want to commend you on the work that you're doing for seeing the problem and becoming proactive in the, as a problem because I know you're the program's founder and the vice president and I want to thank Parker for you know not vaping anymore and coming on the Belder BB show it's been my pleasure thank, thank you, you so much, much for having us thank you guys I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television and this is my phone pouch my phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.